Hello guys and welcome back to Bangia Mining. Today we'll be mining with the Phoenix Miner. Its link will be down below in the description. Click download now. And hover over the file, click the three dots and click standard download. Go to the file location and over there click go to 7-zip. 7-zip is an easy to use app so you can extract your files and it's for free. Click extract files and the password is Phoenix right here. Click OK and now open the extracted file. Go up go over and find the configure text and click edit right here is our pool and here's our wallet there is two pools which is Europe 1 over here and US 1 over here there's two pool because if one pool stops working it will automatically transfer to another pool to find the pool you um you can come over to ethermine.org but and click start mining over here depending on the place you are on um copy your pool and then paste it into the configure text ours is europe so i'm gonna leave it like that now your wallet address is pretty um important so the eth Ethereum can come into your wallet. My wallet address is over here and then go back to the configure text and paste it. After you've pasted it you have to um, put your worker name. You can use any worker name you like there is no problem. Our worker name is myrig1 and now we're gonna take off the hashtag from the pool and wallet. This is pretty important so it can work. Now go ahead and save the file. Coming back to the folder go down and find ETH uh, phoenixminer.exe and run as administrator and right here is connecting with our pool and it will be start mining um, between 5 to 10 minutes over here you can see our ethereum speed there's zero right now because we haven't started yet And up here is our GPU's power, which is about 50% with 64 watts. Right here is our GPU's power with 50% and 122 watts. And over here is our Ethereum's speed, which is 54.514. Okay, to check that your miner is working, go over and type in your miner address. Right here you can see the worker is inactive. It will take around about 5 to 10 minutes to show it up as the worker is active. Our current hash rate is 48.9 and our average hash rate is 58.3. This is our balance in Ethereum. This is our balance in Bitcoin and this is our balance in US dollars. Okay, for overclocking you will need MSI Afterburner. This is used for overclocking and my MSI Afterburner is right here. The thing that I'm running it with is the GeForce RTX 3070 and over here my setup is 50 power 
50 percent power limit 67 celsius temperature limit car clock is minus 500 megahertz and a plus 1200 memory clock and our fan speed is about 70 percent my wallet the one that we use is exodus i use exodus and i remain I recommend it to you guys because it's very easy to use and can be used on many different platforms. Okay, let's see if our miner is now working. And we're gonna have to wait for a bit till the miner works. Right here, it has begun mining. It, it will just take. A right here, you can see, guys, that the uh, miner is working, and we have a hash rate of thirty-one point one. And guys, thank you for watching for today, and I'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.